Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here today. Today we're going to take a virtual field trip to Futch's Flyers Honeybees. In this short video, we're going to introduce you to some vocabulary that will help you understand what you will see during the field trip. We're first going to talk about where the bees live. Honeybees live in a hive. And what you're seeing here is where our bees live. They're called hive boxes. And domestic honeybees, as opposed to wild honeybees, live in some type of hive box. Honeybees live in a colony, and what you see in this picture is a colony of honeybees. Most likely, this colony is looking for a place to live or a place to build a new hive. It's called a swarm. For the bees we're looking at today, they live in the hive boxes and they create honeycomb on frames like you see in the top right on the frames they build cells a honeybee cell is a hexagon which is a six-sided figure like you see in the bottom right hand corner In this picture, we see brood. Brood go through a few stages of development before they emerge as adult bees. You may think there's just one kind of bee, but in a hive, there are really three types of bees that keep everything going. The queen, well, she's the one that lays all the eggs in those cells that we saw. The workers, all of them are females or girls. They collect pollen, uh, take care of the larva, clean the hive, make honey, and perform all kinds of tasks. The drone, which you see on the left, their job is to leave the hive and mate with a new queen from another hive, and that's how they survive. Honeybees go through a metamorphosis. They start as eggs, they grow into larva, and then they become pupa, and finally, adults. In this picture, we can see an adult honeybee hatching from her cell. Let's take a look at some of the beekeeper's tools. On the left is a hive tool. Beekeepers use this to separate the frames and, and open up some of the, the hives. In the middle, there's a smoker. Smoke keeps the bees calm, so we use that so we don't get stung. And then on the right side, you'll see the beekeeper's suit. Now this beekeeper is wearing a suit from head to toe with gloves, but that's usually a choice of the beekeeper most importantly, is to protect yourself. Honeybees are just one of many pollinators that help plants reproduce. If honeybees are healthy, they can make a lot of honey, and we can take some of that honey for ourselves. Humans have learned how to be friends with the honeybees, and we do our best to protect them 